Um, well, about a year and a half ago, we decided to revamp the FAST website. It wasn't very user-friendly, it wasn't very visually appealing, it was kind of difficult to find information. And so we started designing a new website, and one of the things that we knew we really wanted to have available was a trip planner for our passengers. We contacted Google Transit. Um, they provide all of the uh, trip planner software for our website, and they told us that our information was close, but it wasn't as accurate as it needed to be. And so we called our GIS specialist, Richard. Richard Thompson, GIS, how may I help you? Well, Kelly explained to me and she gave me some data and we created some maps out of it and we could see immediately there were some problems with the location of the bus stops. They were way, way off. They were like bus stops in the middle of a junkyard. You have arrived. The way the data was uh, collected like many years ago was with a very imprecise GPS, a very imprecise method and the reason that people didn't notice it, they were printed out on these large scale maps so really people didn't see any problems with it. It was only when to try to incorporate it into the GIS that we saw issues with the data. The solution we, had, we identified was to collect the data ourselves. Uh, we had actually just purchased new GPS devices. So this is the device we used, it's a Trimble GXT. It's actually, uh, you can collect very precise data with it, it's sub-meter. Um, maybe it's a little bit over the top for bus stops, but we thought, well, if we're gonna collect this data, let's make, let's collect good data, really good data. So we took the Trimble device in the field, we took a couple of locations of bus stops, we collected some attribute data for it, and we calculated it would take about three minutes to collect a point, a bus stop. So we took this information to transit and said, well, this is going to take about three, four weeks to collect all the bus stops in the city of Fayetteville. And they looked at it and said, okay, let's, let's go on with this, let's do this. We collected the attribute information about the bus stop itself, if there was a shelter there or a bench, if it was on a sidewalk or not, if it was a transfer point, if there was inbound, outbound route. So we collected a lot more information than just the location of the point. And for every point, we took a photo of the bus stop as well. First, we downloaded the data into our GIS and we used ArcGIS Online that we had just purchased a year before subscription, uh, gave that to the transit department and they could check out the data themselves and make any corrections if necessary. After the da data was vetted and checked, uh, we used the same ArcGIS Online maps to incorporate it into the new FAST website. Now our citizens can have access to the same data that we collect in the field. We took the same data, imported it into a program that the transit department had already purchased called Mentor Streets, and then we combined the bus stops with the routing information and the timetables, we created a feed that would go straight from Mentor Streets into Google Transit. Now, Google Transit is a free program. It's again, it's, it didn't cost the city anything. And the nice thing about this, the Google Transit provides route planning for citizens in Fayetteville, and it's accessible through the website, through smartphones, and the tablets. The project itself, we didn't uh, purchase any uh, other equipment that we already had in-house, so the project was done very cheaply. So yes, we're out in the bus station. I'm gonna demonstrate the app to Willie Thompson here. He's a regular bus rider. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's the app, and you just open it. You type in where you want to go. Where do you want to go? Oh, I want to go up to Cliffdale. Cliffdale. <laughs> type in Cliffdale. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Just go in, and shows you exactly oh. what bus you need to take. What bus it's gonna. Okay, one o'clock. One o'clock and you 22 minutes to get there. Okay. Yep. This, this is the whole route you have to take to get there. Right. You have a map also. And it's all free, oh, so it's okay. And it's on the web. Uh, Google. No, download uh, Google Maps on uh -huh. the app. Google Maps. And then you just mm -hmm. click on the little Location. transit button and uh, mm -hmm. you say where you are, where you want to go to, and it will give you all this information right here in the map. And like uh -huh. you want to know where you have to switch okay. buses, it'll tell you right here. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's okay. Nice. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Hey, can I have the phone too? We have to. The city is already discussing adding more uh, routes to the whole system. Is that the transit department can take this device themselves, go out in the field, collect this data themselves without any help from us anymore. To be able to pull this small little project off with the limited resources that we have for such a limited amount of money and create something that we are very proud of, that's been the most important part for me. And, and in a way, Serving the citizens of Fayetteville by giving them more correct and up-to-date information has been very exciting to us.